first you saw Donald Trump take on network media. And, yeah. Then you saw Donald Trump take on the most incredible fight of his career, Hillary Clinton. Now you've seen him screw up America! But have you seen him screw up the Illuminati gray aliens of stupid? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Random Street Theater, and I would like to remind you all that for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchase one of these here bracelets from the company 4Ocean. And every time I do that, 4Ocean will pull a pound of trash out of the, the big blue or off of our coastlines. And I happen to have run across, I believe it's only available on the internet, the 2020 recent release of Trump vs. the Illuminati. I believe this is a film designed to capitalize on a conspiracy theory. But it is a film using elements, or at least an engine from an existing video game. Kind of looks like Mass Effect to me, but I've never played Mass Effect, so I wouldn't know. But this is, this is what we're dealing with. You've got... These things are supposed to be humans a thousand years in the future... Donald Trump is actually a Chinese clone that escaped from the laboratory and made him mortal. And, yeah, there's a prophecy that says he will save the universe from the Illuminati run by the devil and headed by Aleister Crowley. It's weird. It's it's a comedy more than anything else. A science fiction comedy, but... Uh, a comedy. I actually have to say that the best part of this movie was the guy that plays... Plays a number of parts in this thing, but it was the guy that plays Crowley. Uh, Wes Bruff. That guy has talent. He sounds just like the Crypt Keeper. And I think he also played... Um, Bigfoot in this movie. So... Played a num no he didn't. Okay, he, well, but he played a number of characters. And again, that is sounds just like Cobra Commander too. Now that I think about it, so Cobra Commander and the Crypt Keeper sound alike. Did you ever notice that? I didn't until I watched this film. But okay, look here's the thing. If you want uh, sexy crazy. Or anything like that. It ain't gonna happen for you in this, this... Well, lots of crazy, no sexy... In this particular film. There is plenty of jokes about the president. Jokes about some S&Ms. Gray aliens running about doing stupid things. Some dancing, some teleporting. And all kinds of bizarre. Most people hate this film. But this is kind of a... You hate it or you love it kind of a thing. It's why I put it on your watch list. In fact, here's the thing. If you run across this film, I recommend you watch the first ten minutes of it. If you enjoy it, you'll probably enjoy the rest. If you don't enjoy it, it's probably not worth watching for you. I, of course, had to watch the whole thing, and there were a few parts where I laughed. And I don't laugh very often. I'm not really a laugh kind of a guy. I know I kind of look like a laugh kind of a guy, but that's just not who I am. Any hoozle, there you are. Trump versus the Illuminati, a 2000 release. Put it on your watch list. It's not that bad. I'm pretty sure it's on the internet somewhere for free. That's all I can say about that. I'm Richard. <laughs>